हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर योर यू पी एस सी एंड स्टेट पी एस सी एग्जाम्स आर गोइंग ग्रेट एज वेल इन केस यू आर फीलिंग स्ट्रेस्ड एंड बर्न आउट हियर आर सम रेडी मेड टिप्स फॉर यू सो दैट यू कैन टेकल विद द स्ट्रेस दैट वी फेस इन आर लाइफ ड्यूरिंग आर प्रिपरेशन फेजिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू रियलाइज दिस थिंग दैट वी आर नॉट इलोन एंड वी आर जस्ट a part of this whole game and we are together with all the peers that are preparing as well and uh, there are certain things that we need to keep in our mind while specifically preparing for such exams which requires continuous effort it's not a one day game it's not a week game that after a week we are ready for something it takes sometimes years and years but ultimately it is worth it so that is why we went into it we started this journey but because the nature of exa- this exam is such that it requires continuous effort and we need to have high management skills not just with regards to our studies but as well as with regards to our emotional and mental health so here are some tips that you should definitely incorporate in your study routine so that it can help you with cope coping with the stress and the burning out that naturally happens because it's nature of this exam and preparation that after some time continuously doing same things again and again we feel like we're tired and we we feel like it's a trap but believe me that ultimately in the end you'll realize that the journey you have been, have been into was the beautiful one and it only was for you to strengthen you to make you the person that you have become after working hard working day and night and learning the realities of life so i'll tell you some of these tips number one tip is that first of all never ever set unrealistic goal so always stick to realistic goals now what do i mean by realistic goals realistic goals means that if your capacity to study if your ability to study is for 5 hours in a day do not expect yourself to study 10 hours in a day rather keep it 4.5 hours initially when you have easily achieved your 4.5 hours goal then you can gradually increase the time amount or the quantity of the stuff that you have to cover but always be realistic with the goals and aims that you keep for yourself so that you do not feel disheartened in the end of the day and always always keep this thing in mind that whenever you are studying and sitting for long hours do take breaks between the sessions so that your brain your body gets time to rejuvenate and it gets relaxed the breaks should be short and breaks are must breaks are must during your preparation phases so avoid long sessions keep your sessions short so that you can easily concentrate and you can take breaks between the sessions as well third thing third st- strategy would be third thing that you should definitely incorporate your in your preparation preparation phase is doing physical activities so the thing is that aspirants generally feel that when they are into preparation mode they should avoid physical activities they should go do not go, uh, they should go to just libraries or uh, their rooms to study but this is completely wrong for our body as well as for our mind because it has been proven by researches that when we engage ourselves physically in physical activities like walking don't if you feel like uh, that you can't give much time for the physical activities don't do heavy activities like gymming and all you can at least take a small walk 30 20 minutes walk would be more than enough so that you can rejuvenate your body and mind because mind has a connection with your body as well so if your body if you engage in a physical activity it won't only help you to maintain your health physically but also it would keep your emotional health in balance so physical activity is very must you can choose any of the activity amongst there are many available activities like you can walk or you can if you like cycling you can uh, take a st- short journey 
anything anything you like but do engage yourself so that your physical body physical health and mental health are both managed next tip would be it is the most essential one that is getting enough sleep getting enough sleep generally what happens is during exams specifically like suppose tomorrow is our exam and students and aspirants feel like if i do not sleep today and if i go straight to the examination hall without sleeping and if i would revise the whole syllabus or cram the things that i have left out i might score well or it won't affect me negatively but my friends it is not the case it always have it has always been a negative thing if we skip sleeps if we do not get enough sleep ultimately it won't be sustainable for us to continue leak study for the long hours and the for long journey that we have set up for ourselves to continue in so sleep is one of the most essential thing science says that it varies from person to person one can get enough re- relaxed and one can get enough um, rejuvenated or we can say that their bodies and minds can function well in 6 hours of sleep for some it is 8 hours so you have to find it for yourself that what is the right amount of sleep that your body and mind needs so that it can revamp it can just like restart after a heavy day after a heavy day where you have spent a lot of time studying working hard and keeping things in focus so sleep is also an essential component don't ignore sleep next is you need to also incorporate relaxation techniques such as meditation meditation if not a lengthier session you can incorporate it for at least 10 minutes either when you wake up straight you can go and do meditation or just before you sleep so it help it would help you in keeping your mind relaxed and you if you don't know how to do meditation you can search on youtube there are many techniques available or you can do a simple google search and you can learn how to do meditate so you can meditate on a mantra or something or uh, or any sound or just focusing on your breath so these are some of the meditation techniques do f- follow any any of the technique that suits you well so meditation is one of the thing that can help you in this journey and sixth one is least spoken about it is the one but which helps the most that is talking to someone you trust talking to someone you trust and you feel they are your own person like it can be your friend it can be a pa- they can be your parents or someone you fully trust where you can easily say anything you can open your heart without facing the feeling of being judged so talking to someone is like a therapy is like a solution to daily stresses sometimes just a small talk can solve our issues solve our problems that we have been facing for suppose 10 15 days so talking to someone we feel like secured we need to do this often sometimes we just don't talk to people and we find solutions here and there and ultimately there is no solution that we found and it leads to problems and problems basically it leads to a vicious cycle so you need to keep in touch with the, your peers and your closed ones who you feel like you are easily comfortable with and you can talk to them on any topic on any issue easily next is never ever compare yourself with others because this is a journey where you might feel definitely we are into competition mode but comparisons on daily basis are not right for us because someone's journey cannot be judged by our journey so someone started early someone started late how can we compare someone's journey with ourselves so there is no point of comparisons so everyone has their own way to reach to things everyone there has their own style of understanding and learning so if someone of amongst you has learnt a concept fast and uh, if someone amongst you has learnt but forgot on the day when it was required 
so there's no point of learning fast so the idea is that never ever compare yourself to others no comparison in this journey if he even if you if otherwise there's no need to compare but even in case it a need arise and uh, to compare then compare yourself with your own self you have to compare yourself with the previous day previous day of your previous version of yourself that whether have i improved or not whether i'm improving or not so this is the healthy comparison that can actually push you last but not the least believe in yourself do not feel disheartened do not feel sad do not feel like quitting because power of believing is such that it can it only led to the inventions and great discoveries that have been of our help for so much time and anything that you can believe can be achieved so never ever feel the f- that you are not good enough for this exam for this preparation always keep faith in your own self in god in almighty in nature and remember the day why you started this journey before quitting take a deep breath if you ever feel overwhelmed burned out overstressed then i would suggest you to take a day or two off so that you can or you can take a short trip to some nature and some short walk to a nature park it can help you rejuvenate but never ever take the decision of quitting very very abruptly impatiently because it can ultimately you ultimately make you feel very very sad that because you have invested so much time once then you feel when you quit the journey without achieving certain goals you this thing stays with us for our whole life so af- but after giving our best if certain things do not go the way we thought at least we won't feel bad because we did our best so always believe in yourself always believe in almighty or nature that you were chosen for this journey and you have to crack it you have to work hard for it and even in case it doesn't go well even after pushing working so hard then it is not our fault our fault would be to quit in the journey itself to quit in the middle of the journey but in the end if decision is not as we thought then there is nothing to worry about still we have will have so many options because if you have worked really hard with honesty with perseverance you have worked for the for your goal then believe me it won't go waste it the journey that you have given the time that you have spent would be worthy if not today for the time that would come it would prove its worth so thank you everyone for being with us in case if you feel you are stressed and burned out and you don't find anyone to talk and you need a session a healthy session you can call us anytime on 9041333344 we are there for you but the point is that never ever feel that you are not good enough you always have to believe in yourself because you are the one who will once crack this prestigious exam thank you so much